Leaving for work at 4 plus in the morning is a norm for Ivana, who is a chef. As long as I remember I arrived to Malaysia, I think it's around 9 years old. Me and my siblings, we didn't study for like quite a few years. I think the moment I arrived to Suci was, I think I was already around 13 or 14 already. Kami berjumpa dengan Suci di Selayang. Masa tu saya duduk kat PJ, mak dia orang yang hantar pergi balik sekolah tu. Kami nak cahayakan dengan anak-anak kita untuk masa depan dia orang. 我还在学校期间，是一个很乖巧的学生，然后在学习上他都非常的努力，成绩鼓励他上中学，然后他父亲也给他很大的鼓励，支持他继续去读书。After I finish study at Suci School, I have opportunity of choosing two part of my life, whether I will go to the career or either I will go to the academic. I join to the ASAP program and then I choose the course of FMB and then I find which of them. Upon graduating from secondary school, Ifana joined Picha Eats, a social enterprise that empowers refugees to earn an income by engaging them to cook delicious dishes from their homelands. When she's still in the in internship phase, uh, she's really not as uh, confident as now. She broke down a few times, but she will always get up and say, OK, I'll do it again. It's very, very tough person. The thing that I learned from school is mainly helping me to build my confidence back. Without education or knowledge, especially for our females, like we don't have the confidence to go in front and do everything from ourselves, or we don't trust ourselves anymore. Sebagai perempuan tu, bukannya untuk kawin nak mengandungkan anak, bukan kehidupan itu. Masa waktu ini nak belajar, belajar sungguh-sungguh. Yang nanti dah lepas belajar, dah dapat peluang yang semua, lepas tu baru fikir yang benda yang macam tu. It's very difficult for a student or a kid that without any education to have the hope again. If let's say they can receive an education, it's actually help them to dream a bit higher and also to help them to believe that they are actually similar to all other people in this country or in this world. Though life's improving for Ifana's family, she still uses her free time to upskill herself, not letting time pass by. Like learning is my motivation for the day like because I believe that even though I choose the career and stuff but I do believe that my knowledge also can still grow. Resettlement is one of my future plan as well because like I want something that can be a valid that can support my family and we can live happily without worrying anything behind it. If I have opportunity then I maybe like I can own my own kitchen or like own cafe. On her journey to pursue her dreams, Irfana relies on her own efforts to create a better future, not just for herself, but also for her loved ones. Report by Liu Jingyin and Tai Fui Tat, Malaysia.